Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I am sitting on the floor because I am putting together my bridesmaid boxes. I am super excited because I have been working on this for so long and I have to say and be totally honest, I have been looking at bridesmaid proposal boxes slash like gift ideas, proposal ideas on Pinterest and YouTube and dare I say that a lot of them I'm just not into. I just find them a little bit tacky, overdone, and nothing that these girls are going to actually genuinely use beyond your kind of wedding period. So I really wanted this box to be super special, um, a little bit bougie and luxurious because that's exactly who I am, um, but also be items that they can look at and remind them of my wedding and a proposal, but actually be something that you can use moving forward even past the wedding day. So I'm super excited to share everything. Um, I also got a little bit of inspiration for this kind of box from Kourtney Kardashian's Poosh Mailers. So she actually does these mailers. She's got a few videos. I can leave them linked down below. And they always have like a little collage. So I've done a collage to match this. And she also um, kind of has like a little meaning for each of them. So I almost use this as my little like self-care kit for my bridesmaids on top of the proposal. So I will go through all the items in the box, the box itself, because I feel like that's also a super important component, um, and also my maid of honor box has a little bit extra because I really wanted to do and go that extra mile. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into it. To kind of give you or bring you along my thought process, the first thing I really knew I wanted to give was something personalized or monogrammed. Something that just really screamed that I kind of put that extra effort in thinking about these girls specifically um, and asking them to be a part of my wedding and my big day. So I really wanted a customized, personalized, monogrammed makeup case. And I wanted some kind of makeup bag, makeup pouch, something that was totally me. I I'm obsessed and I collect makeup bags and travel bags like there's no tomorrow even if I don't travel that frequently it's just something I'm obsessed with and I came across these on Etsy and I do want to apologize because they were kind of final sale but they were being discontinued but I will give some very similar recommendations down below for you guys to check out so this is what they look like it's this very generous size makeup case. It's just so luxurious. It's got gold hardware on it. It's got a nice sleeve. And I went ahead and I personalized it with their initials. I have three bridesmaids in total, two bridesmaids and one matron of honor. Um, I wanted to have a smaller bridal party because I am having a bit of a smaller wedding and I didn't want an overwhelming amount of people in the bridal party so it also allowed me to splurge a little more on these three girls because had I had five or six bridesmaids I definitely wouldn't have been able to go as much all out um, as I was able to for these three girls had I had a larger bridal party so just one thing to keep in mind. I think a lot of these are great ideas and suggestions and not something you have to get all of them. Um, I think I definitely went a little overboard because that's just who I am and I love spoiling people. But um, these are great ideas just to kind of take and maybe do one or a few of these for your own bridesmaid proposal boxes. So, so obsessed with these, you open them up. They have a little mirror, which right now just has a protective seal. Actually, this one came off. Oops. Um, and then a little zipper here. And it's just lined in this, like, velvety, soft beautifulness. And I'm actually going to pack these with some self-care goodies. Um, so this is where the kind of beginning of my proposal boxes stemmed from. And then I just started picking a few things here and there that I just felt kind of went along with the self-care vibes and like the celebratory vibes. So I will go through all of those as well. 
And then I also want to touch on the box. Um, this was something that came later on in the kind of process of creating the, the boxes. And I just want to say that these boxes are definitely expensive, but I saw it as an opportunity for the girls to have something that they can use for, you know, multiple different things. It's not a box that they're just going to recycle or throw out. It's something that is very high quality um, and I think looks super chic. So I actually purchased a shoe box, but it is an acrylic shoe box. It's a shoe box, but it's like a very large shoe box. So it's just this really large, super simple acrylic box that I purchased from Ikea, which is super great because there's one like 15 minutes away from me. I just did a click and collect. I ordered them online and I picked them up. They are, however, like $30 a box. So they're quite expensive. If you are on a budget, I don't recommend them. But if you have a little bit more of an extensive budget and you really want to go all out and you really want to make a statement, I mean, these are gorgeous and they're like super high quality plastic acrylic and definitely reusable something that they can use for whatever I don't know what they can use it for but they'll use it for something for sure so I love this and then you can kind of like get a little glimpse of everything inside the box which I also love okay so now that the box is out of the way again this is something that did come to me as a later idea um, but so chic you guys and I'll show you how I even like chicify it up um, for the kind of wrapping of it. So then I obviously wanted to do some little like self-care goodies. I obviously needed to have champagne. I love champagne and initially I was thinking do I want to do rosé because I know I love rosé and all my girls love rosé. But champagne is just kind of one of those bougie, luxurious, celebratory things that you don't get to do all the time and I mean nothing gets bougier than a Moet bottle so I got a Moet like a mini um, this is the 375 I know they have a smaller one but you could probably get about two glasses of this and it's gorgeous I mean it's just so luck so here is the beautiful bottle I didn't do any glasses or anything like that I just assumed that they can use their own glass when I come to think about it, I just didn't want to get them a single champagne glass that they would just kind of store away and never use because they likely are going to have a collection or a set of their own champagne glasses. So I just thought the bottle itself was super chic. And then this is where I got a little bit bougie and I saw this and I was like, this is the perfect combination. So I also picked up this little packet of sugar cubes. And I think even if you were just to do this little duo, like a champagne and this, would be a really cute proposal idea without doing everything else that I did. But this is by the brand Teespressa, and it's a set of their mini um, sugar cubes. So they have um, peach, strawberry, and raspberry. So you can pop this in a mimosa, you can pop this in a Bellini champagne. This is called their instant champagne cocktail kit. So you basically pop it into your glass and then you pour the champagne over it and it's going to help flavor your champagne. They also said if you want to do the champagne first and then pop the um, sugar cube in, it kind of gives like a little bubbly, sparkly thing. And it only has 16 calories per cube, so it just adds a little bit of calories to your champagne. But it's just adorable. I thought this was super luxe and it, like, look at this, you basically open it like that obsessed and then along with that I thought this would be super cute it's also by the same brand Tespressa they're these rose petals that you can pop into your glass as like decorative rose petals in your champagne glass like how cute is that like super photo worthy so I also got those on top of the sugar cubes. I also wanted to do something for them to relax and chill. I'm a candle lover and I'm also a very bougie, luxurious candle lover. So I went ahead and got them a bougie candle by the company Boy Smells. I think it's kind of like cutesy but also a very luxurious candle. So the packaging was just like so on theme. This is their cedar stack. I love woodsy kind of nature 
rustic scents and I was just like this is me in a candle so I'm gonna give it to them and the packaging itself of the candle is just like a chic black candle um, with the pink on it so it looks exactly like that Ugh, it smells so good so I actually picked this up from indigo and then I also wanted to do some skincare some body care just to kind of pamper the girls um, something that maybe you can use a few months before the wedding just to prep their skin get the best skin of their dreams before the wedding so I reached out to one of my favorite companies and they so generously offered to gift these packages for my girls and I could not be more thankful because <laughs> this definitely wouldn't be as luxurious as it is without these so I couldn't thank them enough so Adrian Ocha has gifted me their um holy trinity set summer Fridays was so generous to also give um some of their body care slash like my favorite items so the summer skin this is the summer skin nourishing body lotion and also my all-time favorite lip butter balm so good and I also if you guys can't notice the theme it, everything's kind of like a pinky nude um, color and that is exactly kind of the theme is like just like shades of nude that's kind of who I am I love everything oatmeal sand that's kind of my my thing I also wanted to get them some cute little planners so something that is undated that they can use just to jot down like, to do's and um, whatever who knows all their bridesmaids things or work things it doesn't really matter they don't have to use it for the wedding planning but if they want to that's great so it's just by this company called wild house paper it's a company outside of california and you can't really see but the it's embossed it says day and the inside is just so cute also i purchased these amazing slippers that they can use leading up to the wedding maybe on the wedding and this is by a local Toronto company called A Drip of Honey. And I've mentioned them on my stories before. Here are my pair of fluffies, is what they call them. And they're just like the cutest slippers ever. They're double strapped. They're like a vegan fur. They're adorable. So I got my maid of honor, who is my sister, the same color as me. Um, I wanted hers. I kind of wanted like a white, but they didn't have white. So I used this oatmeal color. So she also gets the same color as me. And then for my two other bridesmaids, I got them this caramel color. So, so fluffy, so adorable. So you can see like the shade comparison, they're just slightly darker. They're so cute. I'm like, how cute would this be when you're either getting ready or I don't know, the bachelor weekend, who knows, super cute. Um, and then I also got the girls by Honey Lux, um, some silk scrunchies and silk headbands. So they're each getting one of these beautiful light gray silk scrunchies. They're so soft. And then these little headbands, they're just kind of like this ruched kind of beige sand color, beautiful headbands. I thought would be really cute when they're getting their makeup done to pull their hair back, you know, that kind of stuff. So. And then the last thing is just their cards. So I got off of an Etsy seller these really pretty cards that just says their name and it says, will you be my bridesmaid? And then for my sister, it just says, will you be my matron of honor? So she's my matron of honor because she's already married. Um, so that is it for all the girls. I also, for the decoration of the box, I created, I wanted to make it super simple and minimal. I just bought this, um, beautiful black um, ribbon it is I think an inch and a half thick yes it's gorgeous and then I actually just made these really simple beautiful kind of like Kate Spade esque bows to go on top so once I assemble them I'll show you what the exterior looks like and if you guys want I'll also pop in how I made these for my maid of honor who is my sister I also got her a little gift from Missouri and this is a super delicate bracelet freshwater pearl bracelet that 
I hope she will wear it on my wedding day. <laughs> Let's pack my bridesmaids box.